So I ordered this over the weekend and it's just come today. What is it? It's a two terabyte hard drive. And what I wanna do is add RAID 1 mirroring to my Windows 10 desktop. Hello there, my name's Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, if you wanna know how to add RAID 1 mirroring to your Windows 10 Pro desktop, please let me explain. Really glad you could join me for today's video. A quick couple of things before we get started. The first one is if you like the t-shirt, let me explain, then you can buy them online and the link is in the description below. Also, if you're interested in Android app development and you like the way I explain things, then maybe you should check out my Android development course and you'll find that over at digitacademy.com. Again, link in the description below. Okay, let's go on and talk about RAID 1 mirroring. Okay, RAID 1 mirroring is when you take two hard drives and what is written to one hard drive is copied by the operating system or even at a hardware level over to the other drive. And that has some advantages because when you want to read back data, it can read it back twice as fast because this drive would read the first part and this drive would read the second part, this drive would read the third part and so on. So that gives you a performance boost. For writing, there isn't really much of an improvement because the data actually has to be written to both drives. Of course, the other thing it gives you, and that's what I really want to use it for, is it gives you redundancy. If this drive fails, all your data is over here on this drive. Or if this drive fails, all your data is over here on this drive. Now, I already have a two terabyte drive in my Windows desktop PC, and I've ordered this second one so that I can add it and then tell Windows to add it as a redundant drive at using RAID 1 mirroring. Now, as I said earlier, I think this only works on Windows 10 Pro and of course on Microsoft server products, but on Windows 10 Home, I don't think this option is available. Thankfully, I have Windows 10 Pro. One quick pro tip, if you are doing a RAID 1 a redundancy, then it's good to use hard drives from different manufacturers or maybe at least different models from the same manufacturer and certainly not hard drive from the same manufacturing batch. And that is because if there are any weaknesses in the manufacturing process, if there are any particular characteristics and you don't want both drives to fail at the same time or a very similar time. If you've got two different drives from two different factories, two different manufacturers, then your chances of there being having been a problem in the manufacturing process is reduced. Of course, ultimately, a hard drive will fail. It's a mechanical mechanism and it's working very hard at high speeds, which of course, that's why we're doing redundancy, of course. So the steps are quite easy. First of all, we need to put the hard drive in the PC. I'm not gonna show you that. Pop open the case, stick it in a spare slot, connect the power, connect the SATA drive, and you're basically done. Reboot and up will come Windows. But then the next step is you need to do something in Windows to tell the uh, operating system to use this second hard drive for redundancy, and that's what I'm gonna show you now. Okay, so here we are on the Windows desktop. You need to go down to the Start menu and start typing Create. And, and there you see the first option that comes up there is create and format hard disk partitions. So click on that and that will bring up the disk manager. And once the disk manager is started, you'll see that it's already detected that I've put a brand new hard drive into this system. It says you must initialize a disk before the logical disk manager can access it. And it's showing here disk number three. So we just go ahead and initialize that. And now I'm going to maximize the window here so we can see things better. Now, this can look a bit daunting. I've got lots of hard drives connected to this uh, system, mainly because I'm doing all these videos and I need storage space for all the video footage. But basically here at the top is a list of all the hard drives and down here below is a graphical representation of the same thing. Now I'm interested in disk one, this one here, you can see it here, it's disk D. It's a two terabyte drive and I want to have it um, uh, RAID 1 mirrored. And disk three that we were talking about a moment ago, here it is, and you can see it's unallocated, and the whole thing here is black, and it's just showing you that it's just this empty disk. So what you do is you go over to disk D, the partition that you want to back up, okay, and you right hand click on it, and you click on add mirror dot dot dot. And then it'll say, okay, what do you, which drive do you want to use as the mirroring drive? And it's really detected that drive three is the only available candidate because it's the, it's an empty disk. So you click add mirror. This operation will convert the selected disk into a dynamic disk set. Yes, we want to do that, please. Okay. And now what's happening is, as you notice, is actually starting to work here. And we can see that it says here, resyncing. And both disk one here 
is now called D and disk three here is called D and it will now start the process of doing the initial resynchronization where everything is kind of copied block by block, byte by byte from disk one over to disk three so that disk three is able then to carry on in this dynamic RAID one setup. So we're gonna leave that running for a little bit and we'll come back when it has finished. Okay, so there it is, it's finished. So drive D from disk one and drive D from disk three are now done and they're healthy and they are connected together as it says here as a mirror. And uh, it took about uh, two and a half hours and that's a function of the size of the disk and how full it was. I already had over a terabyte of data on there. And of course that will need to be copied over to the second drive. And now if you look at, let's say, you know, the PC, this PC, you can see here there's only one drive that that extra drive does not appear here. This is drive D, but actually it's made up of two drives that are running in this uh, mirroring RAID 1 configuration. Okay, so there you go. That's how you add RAID 1 mirroring to a Windows 10 Pro uh, desktop. If you do want to know more about the different RAID levels, RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, etc., I have a whole video on that subject, and you'll also find a link to that video in the description below. Okay, that's it. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to this channel. And well, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.